This is a presentation of Taxiway Design Section 3, Taxiway Design Groups, by the Federal Aviation Administration. This section discusses how the FAA defined a new set of families of airplanes called Taxiway Design Groups, or TDGs. The FAA airport design standards have always been based on families of aircraft, namely Aircraft Approach Category and Airplane Design Group, or ADG. As shown in Taxiway Design Section 2, Airplane Maneuvering, the FAA determines pavement requirements for taxiways by the configuration of an airplane's landing gear. These requirements and configurations are used to establish the taxiway design groups. Taxiway design groups, or TDGs, range from TDG1 through TDG7, with TDG1 split into two parts, TDG1A and TDG1B. The goal of the TDG is to strike a balance between standardization and cost control. In this video, we'll explain how we developed the TDGs. To avoid changes in the width of existing taxiways, we first determine the maximum main gear width, or MGW, we can recommend for each current standard straight section taxiway width. We calculated this MGW by subtracting the taxiway edge safety margin, or TESM, from each side of the taxiway width, as shown in this table. Although there are only five MGWs, there are eight TDGs. This is because designing fillets to accommodate the longest airplane that fits on a straight taxiway section would require larger fillets than are needed if the taxiway system will only be used by shorter airplanes. For this reason, we divided each of the 25, 50, and 75-foot taxiway widths into two separate TDGs. Next, as shown on this graph, we plotted in feet the cockpit to main gear distance, or CMG, on the y-axis versus the MGW on the x-axis for 125 airplane models. We divided the models into groups corresponding to the MGW for the current standard taxiway widths, as shown by the blue vertical lines added to this graph. To avoid constructing large fillets at airports where we expect only shorter airplanes to operate, we divided three of these taxiway widths by CMG, considering both maximum and minimum CMG. As shown here, these groups are TDG1A, TDG1B, and TDG2, TDG3 and TDG4, TDG5 and TDG6, and finally TDG7, which includes only one airplane, the Airbus A380. When we remove the data points, we have the taxiway design graph as shown in Advisory Circular 150-5300-13, Airport Design. Note that there are lower CMG limits to TDG3, TDG5, and TDG7. No known airplanes currently fall below these limits. There are several ways to determine an airplane's TDG. For those airplanes for which manufacturers have provided CMG and MGW dimensions to the FAA, you can look up the TDG for an airplane in the Aircraft Characteristics Database using the link in Appendix 1 of the Airport Design AC. If the airplane is not listed, but you know its CMG and MGW, you can determine its TDG by plotting these coordinates on the taxiway design graph. For example, an airplane with an MGW of 38.5 feet and a CMG of 62 feet is in TDG5, as shown here. For other airplanes, like this commercial passenger jet, you can determine the CMG and MGW from the information in the Airplane Manufacturer's Airplane Characteristics for Airport Planning manuals. If these manuals do not directly list the CMG and MGW, you can calculate the values using dimensions found in various sections of the manuals. In this case, as shown on this front view illustration of an airplane, the MGW is equal to the strut to strut width plus the bogey width, which is the center to center distance of the tires in the bogey, plus the tire width, because you need to add one half of the bogey width and one half of the tire width to each end of the strut to strut width. 
Calculate the CMG distance as shown here on this side view of the airplane by adding the cockpit to nose gear distance to the wheelbase. If the airplane manufacturer's manual does not provide the cockpit to nose gear distance, you can also calculate the CMG by adding the airplane's nose to nose gear distance to the wheelbase and then subtracting the airplane's cockpit to nose gear distance. Again, these dimensions may be scattered in various sections of the planning manuals. For airplanes where the nose gear is forward of the cockpit, use the wheelbase instead of the CMG, as shown here in this side view of a small, single-engine plane. You can also determine the ADG, the classification of aircraft based on wingspan and tail height, and TDG by entering the required dimensions into the Excel spreadsheet design tool provided on the FAA Airport's webpage. As you enter the dimensions, the tool computes the ADG and TDG, as shown in this example. This has been a presentation of Taxiway Design Section 3, Taxiway Design Groups, by the Federal Aviation Administration. Produced by Joint Venture Solutions.